All right, guys, we're back. Hopefully everyone's having a great day, a good afternoon. I'm back in the storage. I'm trying to clean up. I probably should have recorded, but I was in the zone. And I wanted to get everything pushed back. So as you can see, it's really nice and clean now. I'm trying to get through all these towels. I'm taking pictures now, and I will be posting them tonight. I got everything kind of like in order. I put all the flags on this side. I need to take a lot of pictures, a lot of stuff that I need to post for the flags. I had some clothing. I needed to get it out. This is pictured. Some of it on top is not. I need to take that off, but the bottom is pictured. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm starting to look nice. It's starting to look a lot cleaner. As you can see, I'm, it's more wider now. I put a lot of stuff higher up, as you can see. A lot of stuff went up. So I'm just trying to fill it out. I push all this stuff back. In reality, this is all slippers. As you can see, like uh world champions and uh little little kid ones oops the chargers there's a bunch of them really nice browns ones so i put them all here i have a lot of lanyards i gotta you know in reality i don't think lanyards go for that much if anyone wants a good deal on them i got a bunch of those so yeah i put all the slippers as you can see that's a whole size run of steeler slippers i'm gonna try to get all these in order box them up and put them up higher and try to clear this out I realized that all this, I put it right here because I realized that all this is just going to be easy once I put it up because there's just a bunch of size runs. I could just put quantities and then box them up and then call it a day. Found a bunch of these steering wheel covers, different teams. Really nice. Who's this? This is the Vikings. As you can see, they're embroidered. Really nice and clean. So I found I found a bunch of uh, 90s banners over there that I need to check out like the Charlotte Hornets. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm trying to post all this up, get this all tight, and then start working on other boxes. I've applied some of the, the wall clocks, the Windcraft clocks, on, on the eBay. So feel free to check out my eBay. If anybody has any questions or comments, by all means, let me know. You can put them down. I can definitely respond. But appreciate everybody for coming on my journey, guys. I have a lot of stuff to give y'all. Uh, a lot of uh, different little things. I just found these little... It says, oh, that's a beach towel. There's some fleece ones. They're like little throw. Yeah. Some of these little throw ones. Micro throw. So yeah, all this stuff's going to go on eBay. So get ready for it. I have a bunch of, uh, well, not a bunch, but well, actually this is just a little bit on this side, but I have more of these, uh, a decent amount of uh, auto covers, like, you know, your slip mats and then also your kind of carpet style mats. These are football mats, all brand new with tag, but they're all Rams, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately if you're a Rams fan, but uh, for everybody else, it's only Rams. I have a lot of Rams towels as well. A lot of robots still left. I've realized people are still hunting for Christmas stuff, which is amazing. I had a lot of people shoot me offers. So I'm definitely interested on uh, what's going to happen, you know, in the days to come. I know tomorrow's a really good day for selling because everybody gets their little gifts from grandma and grandpa and then puts it online. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? If they're not buying those little passes on Fortnite, then they're probably going to put it on eBay. So... Hopefully everyone's having a great day, a good afternoon. Once again, thank y'all so much for the support. It is Christmas Eve. Hopefully you're having a great day, a good, uh, a good time with your family, you know, hanging out, enjoying the day. You no, know, I've been envisioning it, guys, because, you know, I, my heart's been going out there for it. You know, next year, I, I, I pray that I can have a space, you know, like a, a place that I can call my own, uh, maybe a Christmas tree. Um, you know, I've realized that, you know, I feel blessed with all this stuff, but, you know, it's just the smaller things like that. Just, well, I mean, actually, a house is really not that small, right, or apartment, right, but... Um, you know, I, I really miss those things. You know, this one is going to be a tough one. I mean, I, you know, my last year was tough too. You know, it's been a tough whatever. It's part of life, I guess. It just toughens me up. But it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, but at, at the end of the day, I, I'm just trying to be honest. I want to. I want uh, progression, and I, I'm trying to envision it. I envisioned all this, so hopefully, I can envision this into money. I have a bunch of stuff, guys, to give y'all. If you see anything of interest, I could definitely show y'all. I put some jackets up on my eBay. I have a lot more down here that I need to put up. There are some right here as well. But I have these in duplicates that I have some already at the office. So I need to put them up ASAP. The reason why I haven't is I've just been trying to focus on all... I've just been focusing on whatever I can, you know? And I realized that I've, I've just been pushing one thing over and, you know, another and then... But right now I'm working on this little area right here. All this I've I've uh, taken care of. All this I kind of have to figure out. I found this bootleg FUBU. Bootleg FUBU from the 90s, guys. Really interesting. All these uh, towels I got to get in order. I found this little pendant. And I found a lot more of these Dallas Cowboys ornaments. Somebody just bought some a couple of days ago, so that's awesome. Once again, thank you all so much for coming on my journey, guys. If you have not, feel free to follow me, guys. Feel free to follow my eBay as well. I, I definitely have a lot of stuff, and I'll be putting up a bunch of stuff daily. I'm not going to stop until I get at least like 5,000, 10,000 items up. I believe I can do it. 
And I believe then it'll be on and rolling. So I love y'all, respect y'all. Hope you're having a good time with your loved ones. I'm having a good time working. As you can see, it looks so beautiful now. It looks really clean. I'm super excited about this. You know, I even can put this, uh, the dolly in here and I can move stuff around if I needed to. But I, I'm just excited that I have a lot more room. I just realized that a lot of stuff needed to go up. You know, the problem was whatnot. You know, I had this rack right here because I was just having art become like an arsenal and just giving me stuff and trying to, you know, just see whatever would stick, you know? And I realized that more or less, you know, I had my, my main demographic on what now was clothing. So I have 30,000 blanks. The unfortunate part is it's hard to sell a blank t-shirt unless people are just looking for blanks. And even at that, people want it for the lowest price. All my blanks are really nice. They're from the 90s. So I'm just going to hold on to them until I get to that point where I can focus on them. You know, at this moment, I feel like giving everybody one certain item like sports items, you know, NFL, NBA, NCAA will look really nice on eBay and people will take it more serious than me putting up like a bunch of you know randomness with shirts and everything else so i'm trying to stay focused on this because i have a lot of nfl stuff i like to get it all up and once i get it all up then i'll start focusing on other items i'm going to try to boost up sales so i can get a little bit of money to hire somebody for a couple of days to offer uh for 120 item post you know and see if anybody wants to help me with listings so if i can do that then i can you know every uh two days three days i could possibly get you know, a couple hundred listings, you know, so it'd be really nice to do that. So once again, I love y'all, respect y'all. Hope you're having a great day. God bless y'all. God is good, guys. I'm trying to keep the faith. You know, sometimes I break down too. You know, I get sad, depressed. Yesterday was one of those days, you know, sometimes you feel small. I'm super excited to see what the world has for me, guys. And I realize all it is is just hard work. And uh, my dad was a hard worker. My mother was a hard worker. So I, in turn, am a, a double hard worker. I just need to put my, my head to the iPhone and really put all these listings up and pray to God. <laughs> you know what I mean? That everything goes well. But I love y'all. respect y'all. Hope you're having a great day. I'm going to focus on this. This has been annoying me. All these are going to go up, guys. I have some really nice ones. Steelers, Bears, a bunch of teams. Baseball, football. I, I put up some uh, White Sox, some Raiders. There's a lot of teams in here. The Jets. There's the Raiders right there uh san francisco giants the cowboys i have a bunch of teams the saints looks like baltimore ravens down there texans so yeah all these will be going up there are some college ones as well i, I saw clemson over here there's a there's a few so if you like any of these towels guys feel free to check them out on my ebay and uh, let me know which ones you like i'm gonna put up a bunch of gloves too i have a, these really nice gloves really nice and clean i have different teams and they're really cheap these are very inexpensive so if you need a nice little deal uh you know just to look fly and fresh for a day i got you a nice little set a really cool i'm really excited to see all this really flushed i'm gonna try to get all this cleared out and get this in order and i'm super excited you know in reality i have 600 items up and it's, it's just barely just here so it's it's really cool to see this that you know, this is 600 items right here, you know, just this little area, 600 items. And I still have yet to get to this route, you know, so I'm super excited. And this is just one storage, you know, and in reality, this is the one that we left kind of uh, sparse, you know, because I was going to make this my showroom. Uh, the reason being is because I thought whatnot, we could, you know, put a camera right where I'm standing, show all this stuff and look cool. But in reality, it just did not, not work. You know, nobody wanted it. I think more or less people were thinking that I was having a bunch of jerseys. Like everybody thought, you know, when I said NFL, you know, NBA, they didn't think it was towels and stuff. Some people did support. Don't get me wrong. You know, I did sell some units. If you have not checked me out on whatnot, I've sold almost like 20,000 pieces. Uh, whatnot's really easy to sell. You can sell 100 items in, in an hour or two. You know, it's really not that hard. Because you can do 10 seconds suicide uh, or 10 seconds sudden deaths, you know what I mean? Or five seconds, whatever you want to do. You can just really just crash out. So there's really an opportunity to make, you know, quick money if you wanted to. But it comes at a cost because in reality, I've realized that the market there has really changed into like the the lowest market. Like I, I had people in the room, like, I mean, mind you, like I, I would be super upset about it, but there'd be people... Let me have a vintage XL shirt for a dollar. Not run it, but like buy it now shirt. To go even to like your local rag house or, you know, your local uh, outlet Goodwill, you know, you're still going to pay a dollar something, you know. So it's it's insane, the market. And, you know, I've realized that a lot of these kids, they don't have the hustle muscle. They became just, uh, you know, fanatics of like, oh, my friend was cool. He, you know, he's the cool guy. He's trendy. This is what he's wearing. So I'm going to wear it too kind of thing. And I've realized that like, you know, the, the biggest thing was like spam. It was like Jinko affliction. And I forgot what else, like just nonsense. You know what I mean? And it's because that's what trends now. Right. 
So uh, none of these kids have ever worn Jinko in their life, but yet because of this certain person, now they're all wearing it. I remember back in the day, I wore Jinkos. You know, I was a, a I guess a poser of of skating. You know, I just like the style. In Corpus Christi, you'd have like the. You know, it was like different cliques, you know, but everybody was wearing Jinko, be it a gangster thug guy or the skater, or everybody, you know, like the hippie kid, everybody was wearing Jinkos. But then Corpus was really small. So like it wasn't like you wouldn't get like sold out, like if that makes sense. Like if you were to go like to. All right. So this is this is interesting for anybody that's my age, 39. Uh, on Fridays, they would release the Jordans at like noon or like two o'clock. It all depended it all depend, but more or less around noon. Uh, they would release the Jordans at the mall. So kids would literally leave school to go get the Jordans. And then they would catch on. They would catch on that, you know, because some of these kids look super young. But, you know, God is good. My Gen X, I've looked, I've looked, you know, uh, a little older for a while. But we would go and try to get uh, Jordans, you know, during during uh, school. And then, you know, it came to a point where my mom would go get them, which it was really dope. You know, once she realized that we we're going to get in trouble, she's like, he's going to go get them regardless. Like, he's not going to stop because you're telling him. You know, I had one teacher, I forgot his name, but he looked like Tom Green. Remember that guy, Tom Green, the funny guy from MT? That's exactly how my teacher looked. And he taught me Photoshop. And we had block scheduling because, like, you know, there's a bunch of kids of shootings and shit. You know what I mean? Like, so they only wanted you to go, you know, be in the hallway only three or four times a day. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't really want you in the hallway, period. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, he taught me Photoshop and nobody wanted to take it serious because, like I said, I'm in a class full of hoodlums, right? So nobody wanted to take it serious, but I took it serious because to me, like, you know, I've never, I've always uh, looked at like movies, like hacker movies, you know, like hackers, like in general, but just hacky movies, you know? And I, I always wanted to, like, what, I forgot what that one movie, War Games, I think it was called War Games, you know? And, uh, you know, I've always just been in interested with computers. So when they gave me an opportunity to get one, you know, at this time, they're like, you know, top of the line in my school, you know, and uh, we're able to play with Photoshop and I was able to play with like fireworks. It was a, you know, the very beginnings of it. And it was really interesting. Nobody took it serious. But I, I, you know, when he was starting to show me everything, I realized that you could make fake IDs, you know, and this is when YouTube first started off. So I, I naturally, you know, obviously watched some tutorials and for my like end of uh end of the year i made a fake id now mind you this is a, a class full of everybody that you know everybody's trying to go to you know get, get beer you know what i'm saying like everybody and so like nobody paid attention the whole time and all of a sudden i'm like yeah uh, they're like omari come up and i'm like yeah so uh today what i'm gonna teach y'all is how to make a fake id man i had the whole fucking class all ears and and, and the the teacher was cool with it. he's like you know what i'm uh i've already spoken to omar and omar has explained how he's doing it and there's no way that y'all could replicate it like he's like you know y'all would literally have to sit down with him and he would have to so like he just let me do it because he was he was being honest you know no none of the kids took it serious and i took it serious because i wanted to learn how to like make posters i was into like uh the juvenile like you know all the all the like the the cd covers you know and i just thought it was so cool with all this like you know tupac you know and like all these crazy lettering you know and i, I just was amazed by it you know uh, even down to like t-shirts you know i was from the you know from the neighborhood so like you know homie shirts rap tees all this stuff was just a, a big part of my life you know just like the culture you know so uh, when i was uh, able to play with photoshop it, it was just amazing and i took that forever you know i even went to school you know that's another thing i, I wish i you know, i'm one of those people where i always play it safe which i tell people sometimes you know it, i don't say, let me take that back for school, I played it safe because I just wanted to go party. That's really what, what it was. Uh, I went to a Christian school. It was like fucking Van Wilder. If you've never watched that movie, go check that out. Like legitimately, that was my that was my college. It was pretty in insane. But um, I should have picked the focus, man. I should have done I should have done what I was passionate about, which was Photoshop. You know, um, I really admire people that do that work. You know, like. You know, the ex, I don't even know if she's my ex, but the girl, the, the previous girl, she did Photoshop work. And I was like, man, it's so cool. You know, I admired that, you know, she was very artistic. And, you know, I, I, I love graffiti. I used to try to do it. You know what I mean? I would just really just be bombing on shit, you know, like my cousin Sal. My cousin Sal's like this, like he's, he's he works for the government. You know what I mean? Like he's really up there in the government. He was super proud of me because, you know, I, I'm here. I'm, I'm artistic. He didn't know. He didn't realize, you know, the, the league. I mean, he's a smart guy, but he didn't realize the legalities of me, you know, spray painting on some shit. Right. And so he's here saying man look there's my cousin and like my mom goes you did that and like you know he's proud you know but he's like a, a geek at the same time he didn't realize he was snitching <laughs> so it was so, so funny but i mean i'm like 15 14 i don't know i'm young you know what i mean just part of the the culture you know like my mom has this book when i was like 
maybe six or eight years old. I don't, I don't know. Like it says like how old I am because I wrote it, but I'm doing like, like old English letters. You know what I mean? Like homies, low riders. Like that's my culture. You know, like I grew up to that. Like, I don't know why that's like what I was, um, gravitated towards, but that was it. You know, like I always told myself if I get my money right, I'm going to do a, cause my dad had some crazy things. You know, my dad had some crazy trucks, but you know, the reason why I, I've always wanted to ride a motorcycle, but my dad lost, like he dusted his front teeth to more, to a motorcycle. He was a little tipsy and had his, you know, hands inside of his uh, jacket, you know, cause back in the day, if you're, it's a long distance, you could ride like that. You know, the bike would just kind of keep itself up. He passed out, you know what I mean? Then aced it. Right. So, uh, he always, you know, told me, please don't get on a bike. He, he would tell me, he's like, yeah, you know, you can do whatever you can speed as much as you want. You know what I mean? He's like, get into these trucks, get in these cars, blow doors, you know, but he's like on a bike. He's like, my guy, you could lose your life. Like, and he was very like scared of him. He actually had a bike too. Like, but it was just sitting in the, like kind of in the garage area, like his little shack area. He was just never would, would ride it. And then he sold it one day and it was just gone. But yeah, he was all into custom stuff. Like before there was like speakers like you know like these boom boom subs and shit my dad had that stuff like my dad had the interior like this is old school mexico style you know like with the wood the wood interior like where it says dodge in the like the the top of the console like if you're if you're mexican or if you remember those old school styles you know with all the like spirals and shit my dad had that crazy style truck with the uh the velour style seating you know what i mean like my dad was really up there with that shit like he was just he was a weird guy and then you know what's funny is like i remember him like jamming rap music you know what i mean because like at that time to make the beat you know really like you know thump you know what i mean like there's only so many like corridos you know what i mean that he'd be playing you know what i mean so all of a sudden he'd be playing some rap music because it was it had that bump you know and he could show off his you know his system but yeah my dad was that dude you know what i mean like my mom my uncle vouch like my dad was that dude he was trying to be something slick you know what i mean but yeah i always wanted a, a crazy little lowrider i always wanted to do something like that yeah i know i'm just walking back and forth i'm just um you know it's christmas eve i'm just thinking about family but yeah i have a lot of stuff to give y'all guys I hope you are super excited about this. I'm super excited. I'm super excited that I can see this floor. I'm super excited that, uh, yeah, that, you know, all this is just easier to to maintain that it's in the back because I know what's this side. I know what this side. This has a bunch of hats, but they're more or less like kids' hats. I would I would show you all those hats, but they're like Velcro style hats. If anybody likes those dad Velcro hats, I got your back on some good deals and steals. Uh, so there are some kids' ones. There are some adult ones. I can show you all those. If you do like those, just let me know, and I can put them up on eBay. I have a bunch of stuff, guys. I'm super excited to give it to you all. I just got caught up in the moment of talking about my daddy. I repeat to my dad. Uh, my dad was a little different. My dad was a P-I-M-P. My dad was a crazy guy. But yeah, uh, my mama, my mama is a, uh, my mom's just different. My mom's like really calm and collective. You could say something and she really like soaks it in. I don't know. She's that person. Like if you tell her something, she's really going to give you her, your attention. You know, that's my mama. But yeah, I love y'all. I respect y'all. Hope you're having a great day. I'm super excited about this, guys. Y'all can see. It's really nice and neat. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and go to the office. Uh, I'm almost done with uh, everything, so I feel good about it. But yeah, I love you. I respect you. I hope you're having a great day. A Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas Eve. Hi, Jesus. Let's go.